My name is Ivan Ambrush. I'm the managing director of Competence Center for Research and Development. Uh, it is basically the business support organization in the easternmost part of Croatia. Uh, I agree with everything basically what was said before me. So this is one more case of local and, and regional uh, initiative. Uh, we like to call our area of Ukrainian County Land of the Oaks. Uh, next slide, please. Because of the Spatula Basin, which is the largest integrated complex of lowland pedicolent oak forest in Europe, with most valuable forest resource in Croatia, of course, it is in Natura 2000. It is around 51,000 hectares. It is not a very big area, but it is with very valuable uh, road material. Uh, almost 96% of famous Slavonian oak, or Latin Quercus robur, or in Croatian Hrast Lužnjak, Slavonski Hrast. Next slide, please. Uh, regarding the area, it is the Vukovar Srem County, the easternmost Croatian county bordering with Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, with uh, Oh, we seem to have a connection issue, unless that's me. The problem of depopulation is a really big problem, and uh, one of the biggest challenges that, that we face is, is the human human resources for the forestry and, and wood industry. Next slide, please. Uh, of course, after the forest, since we have a forest, uh, we established a wood cluster for Slavonian oak. It is uh, local regional basically a wood cluster with uh, almost 50 members. But what is very important that we have uh, business government and higher education institutions on board. So we established it in the sense of triple helix, but also we are now facing the, the fourth and fifth component of a helix system. Next slide, please. And our competence center is next step uh, in our development plan. It is established by Vukovar Sien County as the re regional government unit using national and international research development innovation capacities in the sense of higher education to meet the needs of industry because in our area we do not have institution, uh, we do not have a uh, university, so we have to make a links with existing RDI capacities uh, in Croatia and in Europe to bring new knowledge and new technologies to our valuable road material of uh, forest and spatula basin. Next slide, please. So the competence center, as I said, is busy supporting organizations according to the law and promotion of entrepreneurial infrastructure of the Republic of Croatia. And we deal uh, within a specific, specific thematic area of bioeconomy regarding strategy of smart specialization of the Republic of Croatia, which ended but new one will be adopted soon for the period until 2027. So our vision is to promote and support bioeconomy in the sense of smart and sustainable use of natural resources and with the mission of strengthen innovation potential for advanced competitive and climate neutral economy. Next slide, please. Our basis plan uh, five-year-old is basically divided in innovation part with uh, which is external strategic team for strengthening the cooperation of business with science through research development innovation projects and operational excellence as internal strategic team for strengthening our own capacities uh, we have two departments one for programs and projects department dealing majority with EU programs and projects and other technology department that we are basically uh, offering to our smes uh, our uh, services of ICT laboratory with 3D technology, CNC laboratory, wood technology laboratory, and dryers. Uh, basically, all the way from the drying capacities to the final uh, final uh, products, we can serve our SMEs uh, to do a new, new prototype, some new product uh, of food. New slide, please. This is a visualization, or visualization of our center with all these capacities. Since we do not have uh, much of a time, uh, next slide, please. And some of our projects, because we are just partially financed by a regional government unit, uh, we are very active in EU projects in very uh, 
involving all the stakeholders within entire forestry and value, wood industry value chain. So from the for, uh, tree in the forest all the way to the final product, uh, we are basically linking all the stakeholders. Uh, some of our part partners are here at, at the meeting. Uh, next slide, please. And very important project is our ROSET projects, the ROSET 4.0. European network of regions of sustainable wood mobilization ready for digitalization, which was financed through Horizon 2020 projects and it was finalized. But uh, we are now uh, coordinating this ROSET 4.0 network on European level together with European Forest Institute. Uh, in the framework of this project, we did a knowledge platform with uh, now it has more than five hundred best practices and uh, innovations for digitalization of forest and wood industry sector. We managed to uh, bring a lot of important stakeholders with very um, interdisciplinary and multi-actor approach. So we are uh, very eager to continue with uh, this networking, having all the important experts uh, on board. I will send also in the chat some of the links. Next slide, please. And this is one of our best practice examples and also part of one of my, my scientific papers because we are promoting cascading use of wood. We want to, uh, to be as smart and sustainable as possible. So I will be just short to describe this graphic visualization. So the best part of log can be used for veneer production. Something that is not good enough for the veneer production can be used in floors and doors production. Something that is not good enough for floors and doors production can be used in energy products like pellets. Something that is not good enough for the pellets can be used in heating. And ash as final uh, result, residue, also can be used as a fertilizer also in uh, in other purposes. So we are basically closing the loop, uh, making making uh, as much as possible, as many as, many as possible uh, uh, of cascades, especially before we do the pellets now, because of this energy situation, uh, we have a big demands for the pellets. But of course, before burning, you can do a lot of smarter uh, things with wood. Next slide, please. And uh, in the final of my presentation, just to uh, say a few words about uh, our newest project, Go Forest. Uh, lead partner is the University of Florence from Italy. Uh, it is European Innovation Partnership Network promoting operational groups dedicated to forestry and agroforestry. Next slide, please. And what we are trying to do on European level is to bring knowledge and good experiences from the EU countries with operative operational groups. There are 55 of them, which we identified in the sector of agroforestry and forestry. And uh, in some countries that do not have uh, operative groups, we will try to establish them. So to use the good knowledge and experiences of Italy, Portugal, Spain, Slovenia, France, and Latvia, and to uh, establish operational groups in some other countries in the sector of forestry and agroforestry. Next slide, please. Uh, important thing is that uh, we want to uh, get uh, the most, everything the best from existing and all the EU projects that were finalized, not only our ROSE 4.0, but there were also many, many great projects that will, uh, their results will be part of this Go Forest, and we will continue with, with these uh, activities. Next slide, please. And to, to finalize with one poster, with one visualization of our Land of the Oaks, uh, so starting from the tree in the forest all the way to the final product, uh, our region is really a uh, good practice example with a lot of uh, different stakeholders. 
uh, protected landscapes, special forests. Uh, also, our forestry museum is unique museum of lowland regular forests, displaying a long tradition of organized forestry in Bukovarsim County. Our wood cluster with many, many companies with uh, many uh, products from wood and our competence center with the role of linking all the, the stakeholders. Uh, basically, in conclusion, uh, as I said, I, I agree with everything what, what was said before, and uh, uh, our region is facing these uh, enormous challenges, uh, depopulation at most, and uh, we are very much eager for cooperation in the sense of smart and sustainable use of our local resource. I hope I'm, of course, open for all the questions. I also want to say hello to all the project partners uh, of our uh, projects that I see uh, they are here also. And of course, I am looking forward to opportunity to communicate uh, today, but also after this, I uh, I'll for sure share some information with the uh, Marilyn's. Thank you.